This is Akashwani Shillong. The Northeast News Bulletin read by Rahul Chatterjee. The Manipur government has declared two days holiday on Monday and Tuesday for all schools and colleges in view of the deteriorating law and order situation in the state. Schools and colleges were closed on Saturday after the incident in Moirang where a rocket bomb blast killed a civilian. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh along with the Assembly Speaker, Cabinet members and MLAs of ruling party met Governor Lakshman Prasad Acharya yesterday at Raj Bhavan Imphal. During the meeting, an eight-point resolution was submitted to the Governor. These include Centre to Ensure Peace in the State, Handing Over of Unified Command to the State Government, Abrogation of Suspension of Operation with Kuki Militant Groups, Completion of Fencing along Indo-Myanmar border, Implementation of Free Movement Regime to Conduct NRC in Manipur with Basia 1961 and Deport All Illegal Migrants. Seven Rohingyas and ten Bangladeshi nationals were arrested from different parts of Tripura. According to police, an Indian tout was also arrested for helping the Bangladeshi citizens enter the country illegally. A police officer said that four Bangladeshi nationals were arrested from Dharmanagar in North Tripura district adjoining Assam on Saturday. The total GST receipts for April to August 2024 for Meghalaya was 772 crore rupees. The receipts for the same period in 2023 was 737 crore rupees, indicating an increase of 5% in the receipts, the state's finance department said. The growth rate for other states in the northeast were Assam 7%, Arunachal Pradesh 8%, Manipur 11%, Mizoram 1%, Nagaland 0%, Sikkim 16% and Tripura 11%. The government is taking up awareness creation activities, especially among the small shopkeepers who procure goods from outside the state, to ensure that the invoices are generated with Meghalaya addresses so that the GST accrues to the state. Intensive scrutiny of returns is being carried out to check evasion, a statement said. Two new ginger species with flowers resembling delicate ballerinas have been discovered in the double-decker living root bridge area of Meghalaya. The species Globa tirnansis and Globa janakie were found by researchers from the Indian Institute of Science Education and Research Bhopal during fieldwork conducting in, conducted in August and September 2022. These dancing girls, named for the way their flower structures appear to move in the wind, belong to the genus Globa, a group of ornamental plants in the ginger family. Globa species are native to tropical regions such as Southeast Asia, India and the Eastern Himalayas and are known for their intricate, colorful flowers. The third edition of the India-Japan Education Conclave is scheduled to take place in Guwahati on the 28th of this month, marking a significant milestone in the deepening Indo-Japan relations. The event will be hosted at Cotton University. Assam Education Minister Ranoj Pegu has extended invitation to educators, researchers, students and stakeholders to participate. Boom. A debut film by Manipuri filmmaker Lakshmi Priya Devi premiered on Saturday in the prestigious Toronto International Film Festival. For the first time, a Manipuri fiction film was featured in the Discovery section, marking a significant milestone for the state and its film industry. The A-grade film festival is being held at Toronto, Canada. Shot just months before ethnic violence tore through the region, Boong stands as a poignant documentation of Manipur. The film was a community effort with residents from different ethnic backgrounds contributing to its production. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from Akashbani Shillong. Have a nice day.